You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Monin. In the studio with me this week is Lisa Kaplan, Program Coordinator at the Henry Ford Maple Grove Center. Lisa, thank you so much for stopping by. You are a very busy person doing very important work. And I have some really interesting questions for you today. For those watching, tell me a little bit about some of the prevalent issues you see facing people today. Okay, well, for sure, the opioid epidemic is the main thing facing people that you hear about in the news constantly. People are dying of, of overdoses. So opioids are the class of drugs that we would call pain pills. Things like Vicodin, Oxycodone, Oxycontin, per Percocet, Methadone, um, and heroin. Mm -hmm. So that is a major problem across the country, but also here locally, and people are dying. So I would say that's the main Wow, issue. that sounds very serious. Now, at the Henry Ford Maple Grove Center, what age do you all serve there as far as people coming in for assistance? So we help people ages 13 to, to through adulthood. Okay. 13 to 18 is our adolescent program, and adults are 18 and up. We have no inpatient for adolescents, just outpatient. Okay, great. Wow, this does sound something that could be potentially life-changing for individuals for sure. So tell me a little bit about steps someone can take in case they maybe are looking at their life and going, yeah, maybe I have an issue here, or looking at the lives of people they may know. What is an appropriate type of a, a step they can take? Yeah. Well, for sure, the sooner the better, because addiction is a progressive illness. It's a disease, and the longer it goes on, the worse it gets. So the sooner a person can get help, the better. Someone who recognizes that they have a problem they can contact us if they have insurance, and if they don't have insurance, they can contact their local community mental health program to get assistance, but they can be admitted to treatment and treated as soon as possible. If someone recognizes someone in their life who has a problem, they can say to them, I recognize you have this problem, I'm concerned about you, I know of a treatment program that can help if you're interested, and then forward our information to them. So that when they're ready, and the patient has to be ready, then they can get the help they need. Wow, that's a really good point there is, is just offering it and then when someone recognizes this is the time to give them the freedom to move forward, that's amazing, good. Uh, when it comes to actually taking that next step, if you are the individual and you're like, yikes, this is, this is real, this is mm -hmm. happening, what resources or other resources do you think might be available? Okay, so at our program and many programs all over the area. We believe in the 12-step program of Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous. These are 12-step support groups for people who have a substance use disorder who can get help from other people in their situation. They literally work 12 steps, beginning with one and moving on to two, and those 12 steps help them to um, embrace recovery. So those are important things for the person with the addiction, but the family member can also go to 12-step meetings of their own. So there's Al-Anon, Naranon, and Families Anonymous, which are 12-step programs for the family member of the person who's using. And they can also learn the 12 steps and work the 12 steps to help them with their recovery. Because this is a family disease, it doesn't just affect the addict. Wow. It's really tough for the family members, too. Wow, that's something I didn't even consider, absolutely. So that's great they have that dual uh, program there so everyone's on the same page and yes. can help each other, really, is what it sounds like, yes. help themselves and help each other a little Ideally, bit. yes, yeah. but getting both parties to agree to participate in programming is the issue. People oh. don't get help until they're ready to get help. Mm -hmm. So that's no. the challenge. No, I can see that, most definitely. So this issue sounds like it could potentially just be challenging and difficult. How do you and the people who work for you specialize in bringing some sort of positivity to something like this? Okay. Well, there's a lot of positivity because with this disease, there's hope. There's hope. And hope is walking around our building. Many of the people who work there are in recovery. Um, we all know people. Every one of us knows many, many people in our lives who are in recovery because there's something like 23 million Americans in recovery. Oh, wow. So they may not tell you that, but there are people that you know for sure, and they're living very happy, productive lives, doing well, and so there's a lot of hope with this disease. Um, if, it, if there was no hope, it would be pretty demoralizing, but there is. Absolutely. When it comes to those 12 steps, is there one that you see is a little bit more difficult than the others for, for people? Well, I would say probably step four, which is um, taking personal inventory, is oh, really, really okay. tough because yeah. you have to look at yourself objectively and um, identify your strengths and weaknesses. And the strengths are easy for most people. The weakness is not so much. 
Um, but of course, they have a sponsor, somebody in the program that is like a mentor who helps walk them through and helps them with that. Oh, perfect. So Good. Great. Well, awesome. I'm excited, and thank you so much for offering this resource to the community. We appreciate it, and we appreciate your time stopping by with us today. Okay. You're welcome. Once again, we've been talking with Lisa Kaplan, Program Coordinator at the Henry Ford Maple Grove Center. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.